welcome to Buildings of Tomorrow. My name is John Lester, and in this episode, we'll be talking about the market trends which are creating challenges for cybersecurity. I'm joined today by Frederick Tamayer, the Vice President of IoT and Software at Siemens Building Products. Frederick, thank you for joining us. Hi, John. We have a lot of trends that are happening in our market today. What challenges are they raising for cybersecurity in particular? Well, if you think about the buildings of today, we have a an, an, an completely different role right now for a building. So first of all, we have a lot more technology inside. We have the connectivity that is increasing. The role of the building is changing completely. It's be becoming part of the business process mm -hmm. itself. And we have a lot of demands of our customers that saying, OK, we would like to interact a lot more with the building itself. So that, um, that exactly delivers us a lot of challenges. It's a lot of changes. So there must be a lot of things that they are coming in conjunction with that. Yeah, that's true. Because um, in the building industry, we have a lot of standards and open protocols. And in terms of integration in the building itself, that's great because it gives us the opportunity to link information from different disciplines. However, this was, um, let's say, guided together with physical security, like for example, access control, having access to a building, and you had some management uh, around that, but for the building specifically. Now due to technology and also the connectivity in the cloud, we are being faced with completely different, um, let's say, challenges there to rethink our concepts about protection and giving access to different information in the building. So it used to be enough to really control who could walk into a building, who could get access to the mm -hmm. elevators or enter the offices. But, mm -hmm. but with this new level of connectivity and the new access to information, this mm -hmm. is not enough anymore. A exactly. So we need to have an add-on um, to, to this physical security protection because that still exists, of mm -hmm. course. But um, due to this connectivity, now all of a sudden we're being confronted with, okay, how are we going to do this? So who needs to have access to what kind of information? And this requires, on one hand, a lot of um, rethinking on the technology side, but I think also in terms of behavior that we have some changes there. And we, um, in the industry, we're looking at this to say, okay, what do we need to do as a technology company to help our customers? Um, and different stakeholders around buildings to help them in that. But on the other hand, it's also some kind of, let's say, education process that all of us need to go through together. You mentioned before open protocols and, and obviously the power of data is the way that we can use it and, and give access to mm. those that, that need it. Does this create risks by giving access to more and more people? Um, it does. It does, of course, um, because we, we have risks in, in two different levels. Um, just imagine that you want to enter a building. It's about opening a door. In the virtual world, it's the same. So it's about outside in protection. But of course, as we have different people in the building and different partners, we can also have some inside out risks. So we need to look at both dimensions, as a matter of fact, in order to see, OK, how exactly can we deal with these new opportunities, but also protect them at the same time? And as I said before, the building has now a completely different function. It has become part of a business process. It's an important element. Um, not only in society, but also in business as such. So therefore, we have to be aware about this risk and also professionally take care of those. All right, perfect. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. And thank you all for joining us on Buildings of Tomorrow. Please like, share or comment on this episode and also subscribe to us here on this channel. We'll see you again soon.